Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I organize my doll clothes. Recently it has been requested by Australian girl fan and it's a lot of stuff so be prepared. Well with that let's go ahead and get started. So over here I have a drawer full of all of my doll stuff. So here is the first drawer. So how I organize my first drawer is that I put majority of my doll clothes in here. So as you can see in this corner, I have all of my doll shirts, but these are like the sleeve, short sleeve t-shirts. So I organize it by the sleeve length. So I have longer sleeves at the bottom and then short sleeves on top. And I do combine my girls and guy clothes in this section, but it's just easier for me that way. And in this section, I have my doll's tank tops. Over here, I just have my doll's shorts and these are all different types of shorts. As you can see, there's no particular order. And over here, I have my doll's long pants. So these include like jeans, sweats, all of that stuff goes here. And then all the way in the back here, I just have some leggings. Back here, I have basically majority of my doll's dresses. So I have all of their spring dresses. And all the way at the bottom are the ones I particularly don't really have them wear too often. And these are like the holiday dresses are at the bottom. Just because I didn't have a special place for them to put yet. So that's where I put all of those. In this corner, I have my doll's skirts. It's like ranging from all different kinds of seasons. So there's the skirt. And over here, I just have all of their PJs together. Now I'm on to the second drawer, which is full of accessories. So for my second drawer, I have a lot of miscellaneous items here, but I try to keep it as organized as possible. So in this box, as you could see here, I have it labeled as mittens, necklaces, and bracelets. So I have like all of the little accessories in there. And in this box, I have, as you can see, swimwear. And in this big box here, I have our, all of their sports gear. So I put all of their sports stuff in there, including like their tennis rackets and little basketballs and stuff that could fit in that box. And as you can see here, I have extra blanket, some of their slippers, and also their bathrobe. And in these two boxes over here, I just have the first box to be labeled as the hats. And these are the hats that are more foldable. So for example, you have this type of hat um, that's like really soft and stuff. I put all of my soft hats in here. The other ones like fedoras and stuff that are not easily as foldable and has to maintain their shape, I put it somewhere else and I'll show you that later. And in the box below, I just have all of their sweaters because right now it's getting closer to summer. So I decided to put all their sweaters in a box. And over here, I have another box dedicated to their sporty skate gear, which is like their rollerblades and stuff. And in the bottom box here, I just have all of their Halloween costumes because they don't wear it too often. So I have to put it somewhere else where it could be accessible, but it won't take up that much room. And over in the back corner here you can see that I have like this yellow Ziploc bag and these are all of the dolls cheerleading outfits. I have three of them so I just keep them all in here because it was like nice and more compact than a giant box and it could easily fit in here. And in the corner over here I just have their earrings, a fan, a sewing machine, and a letter that I got from a contest a long, long time ago. Now let's move on to the third shelf, which are all of my doll's shoes. As you can see, I have accumulated a ton, a ton of doll shoes. So I'll show you how I organize all of them. So in the back row, I have basically all of my doll's boots. And then as you can see, since I have too many shoes, I have to stack the pairs on top of each other. So I basically see like one shoe on top 
and this just creates more space for all of my doll's shoes because they have way too many. And in the corner here, I usually keep majority of my doll's flip-flops or sandals. And that's basically it for my doll's shoes. There's really no particular order. I just like to order them by like height and then sometimes I go with the type of shoes but then later on I just get lazy and decide to just put it wherever. And then in these last two drawers, I actually don't keep my doll's clothes in there. In this drawer, I keep all of my doll's food. So if you guys want to see how I organize all of my doll's food and like what type I have, just let me know and I can make a video of that for you guys because that should be super fun because they have a ton of stuff. And in the last drawer, I actually can't open the last drawer. That's why I put my doll's dining table here. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. This drawer is really old, so yeah, something must have happened that I can no longer open the bottom drawer, but yep. And right next to the drawer, I actually built my dolls a closet. So it's a relatively small closet, but this is where I keep majority of my dolls' jackets and all of like the overlay accessories. As you can see, it's made from an old American Girl doll box, and I use some plastic rods to make this closet. So as you can see, I have a top level here, and then actually inside I have another level um, so I could have like double the amount of hanging space. So I have usually hang all my shorter jackets here, and then if I don't have enough room in the back, I usually hang them out in the front right here. And then I also hang all of my longer trench coats or even like some rain coats um, on this top level as well. And on the side over here, this is where I hang all of my dolls' fedoras and some of their bags. And then I have their backpacks hung over here and then I also have this really cool lamp that I didn't really have other places to keep it so I just hung it over here too and it's super super cool and then I also decorated the side of the closet with a mirror and underneath the closet I just have another shelving unit where I keep all of my other stuff but I'm not gonna go too much into detail unless you guys really want to so go ahead and leave me a comment down below if you want to see the rest of my doll room and how I organize it well that's basically it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it and maybe it could give you guys a little inspiration of how to organize your guys' doll clothes and shoes and accessories. I guess this video turned out to be more than just organizing clothes, but I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!